All right, guys, this is 5.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's still April 26, 2023. This is the Diary of the Griever named John Weaver, which would be me. We have a situation regarding one of our online friends out there. It seems like powers that be are really taking a toll and are taking a bite on a friend of mine. Perhaps you know Don Terrace does the Don Family Vacations. You probably have come across them on YouTube. Telling us about uh, Cruise News left and right during the COVID. He was keeping us apprised of what's going on with his life, not to mention the cruising industry. He's been out there many times as a travel agent and as a cheerleader for the cruising. Right now, he ain't doing so good. And he's still struggling right now. He needs all the prayers and support he can get. Stepfather's dying. And he's dealing with his own health issues. That's all I'm going to get into personal. You can watch his channels and they'll tell you a little bit more about him. So I sent, we're in the process of sending him a letter. I'm just. Probably seeing a last video I'm going to see from him for a long while. But I had to make sure that he was going to be alright. He ain't doing too good. It reminds me of me. Dealing with Mama. I said it before in some of my other videos regarding this. This is not exactly the easiest damn thing to deal with regarding death. It's more intimate than sex at this point over here. We're dealing with... When you, when you've put up a lot of, if I'm going to be turning into the accounting worm again, there's a lot of positive energy and attention and force like that into relationships that we bond and build with to those beings, shall I say, regardless of what form or format. And... We reap the dividends, we reap the uh, rewards, but the problem is there's always a nightmare that's part of the life cycle, unfortunately, that tells us that's it, game over. And what I'm stuck with is seeing a friend go through the stuff, but I've already been through too many damn times. Losing too many people is one thing, but... This friend of mine is going through a hell of a lot. As a lot of us do. I don't know what I can say or do to help him. Except by throwing in a lot of positive energy. Uh, oh As I'm hoping the powers that be can understand and appreciate the human heart and intentions. I love this guy. Don't tell me why. Don't ask me why. It just something about him kind of reminds me of a friend. And I hate losing friend, and I hate losing people. I also regret hearing losses that people get because it also affects me as well. I get the trigger, and the trigger is usually kicking my ass. Well, in this case, it's kicking my ass royally at this point. We've got a lot of political intrigue. We've got other intrigue happening these days. But to me, this is more personal because it hits closer to home. Now, granted, I, for a few years, had been watching this guy struggling with his own health issues and trying to give positive uh, energy to a lot of people out there that he meets. He also sucks it up like a sponge. But it also helps him out because he also gives it back. And the situations that he keeps dealing with, the one news I really hated, but I, I knew it was coming. It's just only a matter of time. When he was talking about one of his family members on that last road, I 
It was only a matter of time. I wanted to say to the guy, look, I know what you're going through. I wanted to be there for him. I wanted to show him a few of my videos and explain to him the stuff I've been going through. Maybe he's got a better attitude and he's trying to keep a better attitude. He's trying to keep his own positive health continuing so he can still try to be an influence to others. And that's a good thing for him because that's part of his nature. Unfortunately, part of my nature was being a negative pain in a butt half the time anyway. And when I see guys like him struggling, he doesn't want to show the pain, but he's got it. I see it in his eyes. He can try smiling, but he can't he can't wash it away. The body language, the facial expressions, and the pain in the eyes. And the thoughts are reading across his brow. He's regretting a lot of things. He wants to be positive about it, but he's holding it back a great deal. He's doing what I, I say, he's doing the, the facade. He's also doing the veneer. He's trying to keep up this, the brave warrior act. But inside, beyond the veneer, He's still trying to rebuild the supports left and right. And some of those are crumbling. I'm trying to tell him that he's got to take strength and wherever he can get it to rebuild and reshore those bracings. If he can get it from people, if he can get as much as he can, at least hopefully he'll keep them sustained. But I know what it's like when you don't have it. I know what it's like when you look at yourself and you're thinking, now what the hell do you do? He's dealing with his own bad news and he's dealing with his own mortality. and scared the hell out of him, but he's trying to be upbeat about it. More power to the guy. More power to him. But to think of this, when he's also facing mortality of his own upcoming loss, not his own, but the one that he loves, and the one he's been talking about, that thing, all the Stuck in this community that I am right now as it is with the mentality and everything else going on. It's it's still stuck in the in the quagmires I was trying to explain in the other videos. That once you're here, it's hard as hell to get the hell out of it. And trying to explain it to others on how you feel about this stuff, it's where some of the people, they can try and mustering all the energy they can and try to break free with it or try to make a deal with it or try to do something about it. But schmucks like me and trying to just let it flow, let it go and just deal with the emotions every single time. You know... I wish I had that kind of support. I lost it a long time ago. I don't have it all that much. I have sporadics. My brother and I had to cling on each other, almost literally. We couldn't say to each other that we missed a great deal out of our ma. We couldn't say it all that often, but we did say it. And there was nothing we could have done about her. Nothing. We had did everything we could for her. But the problem was... 
It was her time. It was her time. We had we had a lot of things jump on us during that time, and I guess this was her time for letting go. Maybe it was her decision or God's decision. I don't know whose decision, but it was just a struggle trying to get through it. And the last five years after my de death, up until David died, it was a constant struggle right there too, just for survival while we were working on it. And he gets stroked out, several trans ischemic attacks, and then I'm thinking, okay, hold off on the college career, just deal with my brother, because that's how it works. And then he dies. So yeah, I uh, I get a little envious for some people actually out there who actually have the support. I'll talk about it on the chats and on the forums left and right, the social media postings, whatever I can. And I do my videos it's, and a hell of a lot of audio recordings of my day. Boring as hell as it is and tedious, but still, it's trying to get me out of my damn head for a long while. I've got a few more months before school starts. It's the day-by-day -day struggle that I always have to deal with and worry about. I can't worry about what tomorrow is. Unless, of course, you're going to be planning for things left and right that you want to get through. Or, if you have something that's going to be, again, giving you a damn change that you're not liking. Change in pathway, change in attitude, whatever the change is. But this is what I'm dealing with. Sorry about the lighting right now. It's getting a bit dusky outside, and I'm trying to save as much energy and electrical, uh, electrical bill as much as possible. That's why the lighting sucks right now. The thing is, I don't try to blame for what's happening concerning about death or anything else. It's the process. We put as much energy, positive energy, into a relationship. And then this has to happen. And we're stuck with the deficit. I know it's impersonal and it's inhuman to put things in a little bit of a weird zeros of ones column here. Human feelings are not robotic and they're not in a, an accounting book. They're not a ledger. But in a two-dimensional way, it's one way of looking at it. Because we threw in so much investment, even capital investment into it, into a project we gave out wholeheartedly. And either we reaped the dividend, dividends of them, and then it's the crash and burn time. Of course, for accounting, we can try recovering if we can. But it, regarding human emotions, human feelings, our own human soul, there's no zeros and ones for it. This just simply is. Don's going to try everything else he can to try to keep the veneer and the Hollywood facade up show people that he's strong, but I've looked into his eyes. I don't read his thoughts. I just read the pain. I know it too damn well. I've been through too many of it in my lifetime. I had to throw up the, had to put up the veneer in the facade. I lie to people like crazy, yeah, yeah, I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine, leave me all alone. It's like breaking my heart, breaking my soul, and just trying to deal, trying to cope, and trying to be a nice guy to people, but sometimes I couldn't do that. I was very nice to myself. I know. 
it's not fair these things happen, but they do happen. And it's sex, so we have to deal with it and learn how to live with it. Don't ask me why. I'm trying to figure out the extent of the universe and the cosmos and creation and everything else. I don't know what's worse, dealing with the matters we have, we have as mortals, dealing with our own lifespans and why understanding why these things had to happen compared to things beyond our own comprehension. What's worse, I wonder? What's worse? But the thing is, for some people, they just don't want to be a burden to anybody else and they don't want to share their sorrow and their pain. They'll do it in a way, but shows them that, yeah, they're in control or they're hoping to be positive about things and then I know in private they're breaking down left and right. But throw up the Hollywood facade again or throw up the veneer. Try to show a person in person. Yeah. I deal with reality. And sometimes the facades of veneers look attractive enough until you see the rotting timbers behind it. Do I like seeing the rotting timbers? No, but it's a reality check for me. At least I know what's real, I know what's honest. Even if you have to be angry and frustrated, tired, pissed off, crying your eyeballs out, and then you wake up and then you breathe a sigh of relief that you're still there, you're still alive, wondering what the hell's going on, and you still struggle. You may snarl and snap at other people, but then maybe you do warm up to them and just learn to appreciate them all. And you can tell yourself, you're doing the best you can. If they don't like it, on that. For right now, I can do and pray for Mr. Don Terris from Don's Travels. I'm praying for you, pal. I know the walk you're doing, pal. All I can do is pray for support. That's all I can do is offer. I just wish We had to be in a better circumstances. So my fellow zombies out there, if you happen to come across this channel, if you're into cruising, that's one of the channels to keep track of these days. I'm hoping I'll be able to get out there. I want to know what it's like to be back on board a cruise ship and feel the waves underneath the hull again. Maybe get a cabin in the fore or aft end. Somewhere where I can actually feel the waves. Maybe a little higher than that. I can actually feel the rocking and rolling going on. Tilt of the ship. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting crazy again on that one. All right, guys.